<laughs> All the primaries that you have had in your party, the people who stood against John Mahama, they've made the same complaints about John Mahama being the establishment candidate. You are saying that he's a popular flag bearer. The people who contested against him, they say that he's the establishment candidate. The whole thing has been rigged to favor him. And you know it. Am I lying? I don't. You don't. Let me remind so, you. So what's the point? Let me, no, the, the point, you shouldn't be coming here to adopt this righteous. <laughs> Let me remind you. Look, Samson, in 2018 primaries, uh, when you're going for your primaries, for the 2020 election, Alabi contested John Mahama. When Alabi's agent, Ken Drasa, former deputy speaker of Parliament, was going to pick Alabi's forms on the 5th of December, he complained when he was picking the forms that the executives were openly endorsing a flag bearer aspirant. Hmm? When Guzitano was picking his forms on the 18th of December, he said that he will win the elections if they are conducted fairly. The next day, he came to meet you, the MPs, on 19th December 2018. And when he was speaking to you, he lamented the widespread intimidation against he and his supporters and his campaign team. When he met before you, I'm, I'm sure at that time you were the minority leader or something. Go ahead. They came to tell us that you don't know. The six aspirants against John Mahama in 2018, they bound together and they issued a statement they requested that even the printing of the ballot should not be done at a particular uh, that it should be done at assembly press and not enough because you don't have time i could go on to dufour in 2022 what dufour said uh, and, and actually stepped down so please <laughs> the, so address people may have difficulties address in their Alan, Alan. Um, People may have dif I'm addressing you first because you are sitting here. <laughs> people may have difficulties with their political parties. There's no problem. Huh? But don't come and sit here and pretend that some other party is suffering from that perception. You people, you are a holy holy. And that you there. At this moment, you are the party that's been hit hard by this. Yes. But I need to deal with the peripheral issues mm. being raised by Harry because he's sitting here, so he doesn't go to repeat them anywhere. Now, Alan Chairman Tim, it is highly regrettable that he's chosen this path. I mean, Alan is a stalwart of the NPP. Mm. And the reason why it is regrettable is that it is not going to help him. And potentially, it could also hurt his party. So what is the point? I mean, certainly, Alan Chair Martin, by this movement, is not going to win the presidential elections. I mean, <laughs> he's not going to win. What he may do, depending on how the campaign goes, what he may do is that he may affect the chances of the NPP. So then what would he have achieved? He hurt himself and hurt his party. What is the point? That's why I say it is regrettable and that the party needs to engage with him so that he can come back. You sincerely think you. there's an opportunity for him to return? But, and, and you see, something. incidentally, we are talking about the same person. <laughs> <laughs> he did the same thing in 2008. The same thing. He didn't escalate it to this point. Yes, but he resigned. And then efforts were made to get him back. He rebuffed those efforts. You remember? The Darocha, uh, the, the first chairman of the... And then later on, when Akufuado himself got involved in all of that, he came back. So it's still possible. And it's still possible with Baumia. He says that, he's the only man of integrity that Ghana needs now. You don't think that would be suicidal on the question of integrity if he changes his mind at this time? Who doesn't change his mind? He will have no who who, who, who doesn't mind. change his mind? In any case, nobody will take him serious. Sorry? Again. Nobody will take him serious. 2008 and 2023, you somersault twice and you say, you are rethinking your position. 
politically suicidal. Uh, Samson, who doesn't change his mind? But what is done to is politically suicidal. What is done is politically suicidal to him. And it could affect his party, you know. And you see, the reason why I believe he should come back is that the basis for his resignation and forming another party, there's no basis. The basis don't hold much water. He says that the process was killed. A process that involves over 900 party stalwarts. You need to show us how it was killed. And the second process is going to involve over 200,000 party people. Leaders of the party from the polling station level right up to the national level. Over 200,000 people. How are you going to skill them? How are you going to do that? I remember reading the, and let me, and fortunately I have it here, the Mr. Chairman uh, in, in Statement. The, uh, uh, 2010, when he was campaigning for the flag bearership, uh, for the primaries, and he was at Ladade Kotopon on the uh, 30th he's, of... He's gone against something he said. Yeah, he said, he told them that this, uh, I'm, I'm, going to, I'm just mm. retrieving it, but this business of people, because at that time, in 2010, there was also rumors that um, he has no chance because Akufuado uh, was establishment candidate. Mm -hmm. so he and he told the lad that they could open during the question and answer session, and I'm quoting him, I'm mm. quoting the report. Mm. Mr. Chairman Tin said during the question and answer session that they claim that the current national executives of the party favored a particular aspirant was a figment of the imagination of the section of the media. And they are quoting, it is the FM stations and some newspapers that have created this, those things. This is the reason why I do not comment on issues on radio, even when such matters go against me. And then listen to this. He said, there was no way the national executive could influence the over 100,000 polling station executives and other members of the party who will vote to elect the presidential candidates. Mm. So, if uh, the national executive or whoever cannot influence a hundred thousand people, this was when he was thought to be the favored or as no, no, it were. No, no, this was 2010. 2010, okay. 2010. Okay, right. And and so there was a, it was a latter and the question was like, oh, but you know, Akufado is so strong, and you know, in 2010, Akufado was very strong, unlike 2008 where Alan too was thought to be strong, and he said, no, oh, don't worry about it. This this thing is just a thing. Hundred thousand people going to vote. No way. There's no way anybody can skew in a. So what has changed, you know? And he didn't give any particulars about how the process had been skewed. Now, you go through a process, take part in it fully. You don't get what you want. Then you come and say that the process is skewed. There's a difficulty there. If the what, whatever it is, skewed, he's gone. If the process and, is skewed, and your, you don't take part. And your desire to have him back is, is an illusion, isn't and it? Also, and also, so let's look into what he's able to do or not to do. Well, what he's able to do, like I said, the history that you put on your screen, the history of uh, people breaking away from their parties mm. to f either to run as independent or to form political parties, the history shows that it doesn't end anywhere. <laughs> I mean, uh, UGM, which broke away from the NPP, when we were in opposition. United Ghana moved United Dr. Rekou in 1986. Yes, he, he got zero point something percent. Zero point something percent. The reform, which also broke away from the NDC, citing the same reasons. No democracy, intimidation, uh, all of that. They got one percent. Mm? You come from them to uh, Obeda yeah. Samoa's party, and there it is on there. The, the format, a former chairman of the NDC. <laughs> the way you like to stress that. <laughs> yeah, because he, as chairman, I mean, you, 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 former you, don't, flag bearer too, as you, you, you don't get bigger. No, you don't get bigger than the chairman <laughs> of a party. Well, even when he broke away in 2008, he got zero point three. A, a whole chairman, Obed is a colossus when it comes to politics in this country. But don't forget what they cost to the NDC. Obeda Samoa, Guzitano, don't forget what they cost to the NDC. When, when Obeda Samoa broke out in 2008 mm. as the chairman, and, mm. and, and NDC still won. But they caused the NDC trouble. Yes, yes. But no, not he, Obeda Samoa. But they, and like you're saying, all these parties must be able 
to garner a certain percentage, not just Obeda Samoa. So in case of Alan, mm. he and the other parties must be able to get like 5% before you can cause any runoff or something. But what each of them on their own, and oh, there's a, a UGM 0. Point, uh, something. 0. 0.3. 1.1. Yeah. Uh, the one you've put, oh, you've taken it away. Um, uh, Kuisin, even Kuisin Doom as flag bearer of CPP, and he broke away. What did he get? He got one point. Yeah. You know, 1. so. 1.3, yeah, 1.3. <laughs> and then when he went uh, solo, no, with a different party, the PPP, then he made 0 0.6. Yeah. So even he has former flag bearer or in all of And so one, none of them is going to be able to get 5% unless collectively you add. And people so say, Alan people say Alan Tremantin is, is different. Damage. Yes. He's That's different. Good. He's even yes. Yes. He's okay. bigger than your Guzitano, who made 1.2%. Uh, uh, well, is Alan Tremantin bigger than Anakunedu Rollins in the NDC? At that time. He is not NDC anyway. So no, no. look at it within you, the remit of the can NPP. You take it easy and write this thing. I am uh, I am writing in, the, that in I the NPP. I'm saying, in the I'm NPP, saying, Alan like, Chermantin had contested for the flag bearership <laughs> and was showing quite well. Is Alan until recently Is Alan Chermantin bigger than Jerry Rollins in the NDC? Jerry Rollins never What has happened to Jerry Rollins? Ah, because you know he and his wife. Uh -huh. Not the wife. Mm -hmm. Don't tell his wife. Rollins to the wife. You talk about in the wife. Don't we need the Ajman Rollins. Huh? Leave it there. Jerry Rollins is not part of the no, Democratic absolutely. Freedom Party. Absolutely. He's not part of it. Uh, so national go, go Democratic into the, into the Party. No, no. Yeah. Now mm -hmm. can I speak to But Now okay. I'm going to do okay. away. Okay. Is, is Alan Chabati bigger than Now can do in the NDC at that time? So, this, we can just speculate about You don't this. see him that way? No, I don't. But... Don't take my word. Let's look at his uh, sway among the, like, the grassroots of the party. In 2008, he got a massive 32%, which was massive. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What did he get in 2010? It dropped to about 20. What did he get in 2014? In the first round, it dropped to 8. What did he get in the second round? It dropped to four. What did he get in 2023? So if you're going to... 2023, he got 95%. Uh, no, please. You mean 95 votes? <laughs> 95 <laughs> votes. What, uh, what, what percentage state? was yeah. that? <laughs> okay. Yeah. So I'm saying, it is not, if you're going to even look at that that way... As against Balmier, 629. Yeah, yeah. Mm. If you're going to look at it... That, but for me, I look at it as Alan as a stalwart in the party that many of us look up to him in the party. We admire him. But that is different from his electoral sway mm. among the grassroots of the country. for the electoral sway. So your, point, you is, your point is that? My point is that this action that he has taken is a waste of his it's time. A, it's a, it's a, it, it will not... <laughs> It is not going to be beneficial to him, number one. And potentially, it will not also benefit his party. Because he cannot win the election. Mm. And he has to join all these small, smaller groups. And if they collectively get about 5%, because there's no way Alan Chermantin's party or movement is going to get 5%. No way. You can you see? determine that. Huh? The records let, show. Let's, look, let, look let's at the records. Pass. Pass. Oh, let, it's let, pass. Pass. Let, but what do you use to judge the future? No, no, it's past. <laughs> what do you use to judge? Let's, let's check how So I, I, I hope that mm. we keep talking to him, point out that this your cause of action is not going to benefit you, it's not going to benefit the NPP. We are better off together.